I think the message is going to be that they like the status quo, and that's going to be they like the status quo in the sense that they don't want high rises. I think that Measure B will pass. And I also think it's going to be they like the status quo in that we're not going to see a lot of new faces in the council or on the mayor. I, I predict on the morning after, I think uh, Helene Schneider will probably be mayor. And I say that because I believe that she's probably the best politician in the race. And I'm not trying to use that term pejoratively. I just think she has the best campaign organization. She has the best track record of winning elections. And that's really where the election is going to be won by putting sneakers on the ground, walking the precincts. And I don't see, I certainly don't see Cushman having that kind of organization. And remember Francisco, two years ago, he was, what, the third place vote getter in a, in a, in a three, uh, you know, in, in a race for three seats. So he, I just don't think he has, has uh, the organization and I don't think he has the, the backing in the community to, to catapult him into the mayor's office just after a mere two years, which many people would say is kind of an unremarkable or undistinguished two years on the council. What do you think the message can be based on what you're hearing voters say and the questions that they're raising and so on? What, what, right. what, what are they going to, what well, what's the message to City Hall? I, I'm not sure how the turnout will be, um, but I think from the front end of the race with 18 candidates total, I mean, you can at least say that people feel like, um, you know, they could do better and they're jumping in the race and they're really motivated to, to run. Um, I'm, I'm loath to speculate about who might, um, uh, be selected and, you should, and, and good for you <laughs> <laughs> I am usually wrong so I don't I don't want to um, so am I, anybody but, but, yeah, <laughs> <me>. <laughs> um, but yeah you know just the interest um, I, I hope that it translates to the voters and not just um, the candidates you know that they're psyched about running but um, I hope there's a good turnout yeah. yeah I think the message will depend completely on the turnout and uh, I think it's going to be a mixed message uh, I think that the, the community is really split on which way it wants to go. I think there's a real generational divide. I think we're going to still see that. I think one of the things that we won't hear much from, you know, we have how many candidates running? We have one Latino in the race. Hmm. You know, um, that says something. Uh, we had another, but she dropped out. But um, I, I think that uh, on growth and future direction, we're going to still have that same split that we've been wrestling with for a long time, and the budget deficit doesn't matter who's in. Mm. Um, it, they're really painful choices, and people can say whatever they want right now, but until they face those choices, we don't know what they're going to do.